Okay, I had this gas valve which was leaking. I've got a boiler next to it. This one needs changing. Somehow the system's temperature seems okay at the moment, um, despite being winter, but it's because there's a lot of people have gone away from this accommodation for the winter. So there's less people here. That's why it's managing to operate. So I've got to change this gas valve, so look straight forward, eh? Well, it's not. I'm going to have to remove the connection now and then there's a connection at the bottom I have to take off as well when it's down there. Um, how long do you think this is going to take me to change? I'm guessing about an hour or two. It may take longer. Oof. Let's see. Alright. It's the bits around it that, that make it longer, the axis and so on. That's what makes things take longer sometimes. Okay, and the lack of light. Another hindrance is rubbish tools. I buy the cheapest of the sheep when it comes to tools, not just this uh, other stuff. So I've managed to get the bottom one off at here and the top one there. Why is it that when we book up stuff like gas valves, sometimes we don't think, oh, how easy is it going to be for me to change that? With this one, I just said book up gas valve, but I never thought of the aftermath of actually coming back to change it. And this pipe here is actually roasting. It's, and I've noticed as well, whilst I'm here, that this pressure sensor could do with being replaced as well. So I'm going to probably book that up. I don't know if it started leaking now. It looks like it's been leaking for some time. But I didn't notice that last time. I should have. Naughty commercial gas engineer. So this is a little bit of what's happening around me. So that's a nice low loss header there. I'm gonna do a, a proper planting tool later. And then that's what's happening over there. So let me show you how hot that pipe is that I keep touching. You might think, what's he moaning about? It's on copper, it's hard to tell. Oh, look at that. It's quite weird that it doesn't really show you the temperature of it. Sometimes how the camera reflects, reflects it back. So it's about, 60, 60 to 70 celsius that pipe there that i'm touching i could just put some gloves on but it might fatten up my hands when i put my gloves on oh thankfully common sense kicked in and i removed the case so i can get to that now without burning my hand as well just about this pipe's roasted so yeah i can i can get to that other part now Whoop, there goes my gas valve 